off. Oh, okay. I don't think it bounced there. Good day, all, and welcome to the Reaction Review. I'm Gripper Sim, and today we're going to have a look at Orbex Stapleford Airfield in Essex in England. Now, stand by, because I've got some free work coming up, and I think this is going to actually outshadow Orbex scenery by far. In any case, you can be the decider of that. But for now, you're looking at Stapleford Airfield nestled in Orbex's True Earth Great Britain South, a recommended for the scenery. I think they've actually made the scenery specifically to fit into their True Earth scenery in Great Britain South. The actual placement of the scenery is out of date. I was here 15 years ago years ago for a period of time and I can tell you there are some buildings missing so that tells me that Orbex have patched up an old scenery for Stapleford from something like FSX or something like that but that's just a guess but anyways the actual placement of the scenery there are buildings missing it's out of date I'm just being fussy it is 96% the way there okay let's move on we're gonna start from the top down here <laughs> kind of like an Essex girl. Anywho, we'll come back to this pillar box shortly, that's gonna make sense. And we're gonna start with this red house there to the, to just in front of the picture. Now that's quite accurate to what was there, but it doesn't matter if you didn't live in, if you don't live in Stapleford. In any case, I noticed some funny things here. This guy obviously lives here, um, and he's woken his dog, and he's an Essex bloke, you know what I mean? And he's got his Doverman there and his typical early 2000s, maybe late 90s dress, which gives a hint to the age of the scenery. Look at his shoes, it's just disgraceful. Typical Essex bloke walking his dog. I'll sit me dog and you I will. And uh, yeah, I'm wondering if someone from Orbex was having a bit of a joke there. In any case, I have World Traffic 3 installed and it appears to work here. Um, there's not a lot of traffic, but it worked quite well here on the Stapleford scenery. There's the White House, I used to live in there. And to the right of the White House is where the new accommodation is, and that's not there. That's why I know the scenery actual layout is very, very old, so Orbex haven't visited or taken any pictures of Stapleford for quite some time. Let's talk about some features. 11 centimeters per pixel ground textures, countryside at 30 centimeters per pixel, fully customized modeled airport, created from on-site photography, yeah, quite some time ago, compatible with AI traffic as it is, fully integratable with True Earth Great Britain South, very much so, absolutely. Includes more surrounding autogen vegetation. I have to say the detail around here is pretty substantial and it's just as I left it, I have to admit. Here's another, here's another Essex lad walking along, what? Anyhow, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, we have software hardware reviews, uh, mostly explain every single week. A kind of radio shack there, that's where the canteen is in there, where you get your lunch and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it was overly priced. And yes, that twin was always parked there when I remember it. So it must have been its home for quite some time. Now we're zooming in here to these administration buildings. And remember that pillbox we spoke about earlier? Well, that was a pillbox, so to speak, that they would have machine guns in there to defend against any German paratroopers. Because this was one of those airfields uh, that serviced the Battle of Britain in World War II. And it says, in memory of those who lost their lives on this airfield uh, between 1930. And yes, that was all about Europe being engulfed by some dark shadow. Speaking of dark shadowy places, this is a simulator room, not that it really matters. Uh, this is where all the poor trainees go and there's nothing down here except darkness, tumbleweeds and no women. So overall, the airfield is pretty darn good. Those of you, of course, who are around Stapleford area, you're going to buy it instantly. It's well worth it. Those of you in the States, well, you know, if, if you like flying around England, it fits in perfectly again with the Orbex scenery, as I said. So let's have a look at the runways. Runway 10 is grass. The opposite end of that is marked uh, runway 28. Then we've got 21 left and 21 right. One side is grass, one side is asphalt, half asphalt and half grass, very unusual. Now, I'm gonna pop off here now and have a look at that free wear and get it ready for you uh, while you uh, enjoy the scenery. Guess who found some free stuff? I have spent countless hours looking through xplane.org and I've come up with this Douglas C47 Dakota for xplane 11 and xplane 10. We're going to talk about this aircraft while turning towards London and then land back at Stapleford. It's going to get dark soon. Oh, we get some eye candy and be back before dark. 
Buried in the barrels of XPain.org, this is designed by John Van Week, and this could easily be payware. Please do leave a comment after subscribing. I have done reviews as a result of your comments. The sounds are pretty good too. Anyway, we're going to turn back to Stapleford now before it gets dark and try and do a landing. wondering where I find this stuff and how I find out about it. Mostly I scour the web but there is a great channel called Frugal Sim News. I leave a card at the end and a link in the description below. Very informative and a nice guy too. Oh, okay. I don't think it bounced there. So there you go, Stapleford does fit in with the Orbex GB site, seen very well. If this is your first time watching the channel, please do subscribe. Every week we have something to do with flights and hardware, software, and especially freeware. Freeware is very important to the channel, and we'll tell you where to find the good stuff. So until then, um, I suppose you could, uh, this is just the end screens here, they're just to give the option to subscribe and watch other videos. I suppose you could binge watch the videos, I dare say, over a bowl of cornflakes, or indeed Cheerios if you're from America. Veggie Mike from Australia. Canada, maple syrup perhaps? Ooh, Swiss of chocolate.